Hi, my name is Andy Burns, Product Manager of Welding and Metal Fab at the Eastwood Company. Until now, our most powerful MIG unit was the MIG-175. But today I want to show you our most powerful unit to date, the MIG-250, which can weld anywhere from 18 gauge steel to half inch plate. Before I start welding, let's show you the machine. The Eastwood MIG-250 is one third the weight, less than half the price, and just as capable as the other big boys in this welder category. It has a 60% duty cycle at 250 amps, which far exceeds the competition, and that's going to keep you welding longer and help you get the job done faster. 60% duty cycle means it can weld for 60% of the time at 250 amps. To really get an idea of how long that is, simply move your hand like you're welding for six straight minutes before breaking for four. Most units in this category weigh over 200 pounds, but the Eastwood MIG-250 comes in at less than 70, and that means it's an industrial style welder that's perfect for taking it to the track or the job site. Plus, the inverter technology will allow you to plug it into a generator. Easy to carry, easy to haul, easy to use with a generator. It operates on either 240 or 120 volts with a supplied adapter cord, which the welder automatically recognizes when you plug it in, a feature you won't see in the competition. The infinitely adjustable wire speed and 30 to 250 amp welding range will let you dial in the welder perfectly. The MIG-250 has quality drive motor components and it works with either 4 or 8 inch spools that will feed steel, stainless or flux core wire from 023 to 045. Use the quick feed button to easily get the wire through the torch cable. It will even weld aluminum up to a quarter inch with the optional spool gun. It has an ETL certified breaker style switch and the long 10 foot torch and ground cables allow you to move around your project. And don't forget the 30 day money back guarantee and three year warranty. This is 18 gauge sheet metal which we're welding with O30 wire. You could also weld this sheet metal with O23 wire. Just look at the penetration on the eighth and quarter inch plates. Now we'll move on to the real test, half inch thick steel plate. Just change the wire to 045, check the chart and adjust the settings. Not only did the MiG-250 get great penetration on the other steel, you can see it on the back side of the half inch plate. So there you have it. If you want to weld anywhere from 18 gauge steel to half inch plate, click the link below to buy the MiG-250. You'll be fabricating by the weekend.